Hey, guess who's got three days off work and a nice bag of fruit pastels? Yep, life is good. Uh, we're gonna do some DVD to destroy that. <laughs> no, let's not start. Um, this is gonna be the redemption arc. Uh, from now on, when we play this game, I will just go silent when I'm not enjoying myself. We're not gonna start being toxic in the commentary or anything like that anymore. Um, we're just gonna play the game and if it gets to me, we shall take some deep breaths, which you probably won't hear. So, yeah, um, we're going to be doing this build today. Uh, Agitation Starstruck, because I saw Ox running this, and I find the guy hilarious and both this build hilarious as well, uh, based on what he did with it. So, I, mean, I just want to do it myself because it was funny as fuck, quite honestly. Um, Hex Plaything, because this is a personal favourite of mine, um, it seems to slow the games down quite a lot and does seem to, you know, provide sneak up potential, which is something this killer dearly needs. Um, and Pentimento, because that is ridiculous slowdown. I shouldn't say that on camera because it'll get nerfed into oblivion, but having one token do 30% repair speed is incredibly nice, honestly. And it doesn't actually deserve a nerf because it is strong and it is, you know, supposed to be it's it's good um it keeps the game quite even so yeah we'll be doing that i'm gonna be running brown add-ons because true to behavior fashion uh, a lot of these seem to be useless based on my experience at least which isn't very much but you know um kids ball glove 25 percent longer overclock sure um this because emps on biopods is fucking broken at the minute. They can just be removed for ridiculous amounts of time. And yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, I'm not going to bring a Mori in this one. We're not going to do them. Uh, should we bring a Mori? Fuck it. We'll bring a Mori. It's a video. Um, don't know if we're going to get any, but sure. And we're going to go for a Red Glyph. I've already got one because I was doing a warm-up game. Sure, I will see you in a couple of seconds. Can't do the same edit twice, uh, the same joke twice. We're gonna have to suffer through this. Um, what I do want to say straight away, my power's gonna be literally useless in it. I just realised. Um, something I will say here, because I am a man of my word, as I've mentioned in the past, I will take things back if I have reason to believe I have been proved wrong. Um, I watched somebody play against this killer from the survivor perspective and in a video a couple of days back I was going on about how oh he's probably shitly animated and everything because usually the killers are he's actually quite nicely animated it's got to be said uh, he doesn't look like he's gliding which is very appreciated from me personally this map isn't though however it is very survivor sided that's not me being rageful that's me being observational as we'll call it you're now seeing it um there's a god pallet right here so she said Ooh, that saves that not a completely worthless uh, venture is anybody on that i'm not gonna run around there because she's got another god pallet never mind i thought this room was on the other side like it's it's literally useless right Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. There we go, uh, uh, the time has elapsed. That was my quietness, just to, uh, you know, not mention how shit this map design is. Uh, I said I wouldn't do that, so let's not. But you know, it goes without saying, doesn't it, really? Um, I don't think we're actually going to get anybody here, it's got to be said. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't like go on about it, but it is, for, in this particular situation, it is just a very bad map design. I mean, I know that this is supposed to be like, you know, it's for the fans. But it's in the game that it's in, it's not very uh, well made at all, in terms of game balance. Which is unfortunate because I have no chase power. Why did you not take that? Can't 
kind of wanted us to put that down there. Can I keep you here, maybe? Yeah, that's pointless, isn't it? Around behind me? Oh, she's there. Whee! We get one. That's probably all I'm going to get on this one. Hey! Two more gems pop, you ready? Uh, where's my other one? Does it just... Right, okay. It automatically does it when you do that. He's going to be coming this way, actually. Yeah. It's looking like we're going to have to camp. Because I'm not going to be able to get anybody else here, I don't think. Yeah, we're going to go and camp. There's, there's nothing I can do. It's got to be done, lass. Forced into this situation, unfortunately. I'm going to calm down. The blood pressure is rising. I just wanted to say this is what happens when you let Twitter design your game. DS, right? No. We do have Agitation Starstruck, actually. I should have gone for that. That was risky. All of these are going to be exposed now, I think. Though. There's no point in kicking gems, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, she's Starstruck. I have to get rid of that, because she can just run back round. We'll go and... Uh, no. Yeah, we'll go and sit where she is. Yeah, it's blast mine to delay me even further. Might chain this to another one. Yeah. It is entirely possible that she can actually just run and then, I mean look at this, like pallets back to back. If they're opening that gate down there she can probably get out. No. There we go. Can't actually pick her up. Yeah I can, never mind. Ooh. Tell you what. Give me that more. I want something. We we'll get a Mori at least. Your face isn't going to explode, is it? Never mind. Wow. Okay. Sure. Didn't think uh, Daddy Capcom would let you uh, do that behaviour. He gets out for free. There's no breakable walls on this map, is there? And I don't think they put any more pallets down. Yeah, as I say, bit of a shit one this one, but you know, bad map design. Um, I'll probably chain this to another one because I think it's been quite a quick game. Yeah, she's just gonna let the time go down. I'll make a cut here and we'll go to the next one. Hopefully the next one's a little bit better. Ooh, we're at home. Nice. Give me, give me. Was that another one over there? I got distracted then. Somebody over there then, wasn't it? Oh, more interesting. How much is this? I need to do four, I think. Hold on. I imagine these are just like placed where you go in, aren't they? Like procedural. Yeah. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Gonna do this first. 
gives me more points than probably what this game is going to. We shall zip on over here. Missions that make you actively lose the game, but sure. There you go. Alright, now we begin. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice. Never actually looked up in this map. strength in this one because, you know, it's pallet simulator. I just thought that being able to break pallets very quickly is uh, two inches at least. Um, being able to damage things a bit quicker is a bit, you know, beneficial. Fucking hell, did you just go over here? Okay. Can't see where the hook is, it's here. Did you get a scourge as well? It's fine. You've not got a torch, have you? No. I mean, if you're gonna feed yourself to me with gift of pain, I'm perfectly all right with that. Stick it on the weird sort of alien beehive. This is a three gem. Give me pentamento. She just heard that, so that's gonna be ridiculously pointless. You waiting there? Possibly thinking about Bamboozle as well, because he needs some serious fucking chase aid. Would have said that was a hit, but alright, sure, I'll go for the injured one. Alright. It's all about the pressure. We're keeping him here. Gonna run out of pallets soon as well. She makes that, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. Nice. Don't know if we get. Yes, we do actually. Right next to the totem there. Still doing that shit fucking design practice of putting totems right next to gems and hooks. You're literally throwing the game. Don't flame me on Twitter. This is your doing. Now we're just Mori the Jill. Okay, you're not on death hook, sure. Yeah, she killed herself. Mori's not allowed, boys and girls. How dare I have fun. It's been torched, but there's nothing really... Uh, nothing to worry about. Ooh. I see somebody. This is incredibly safe. We're at five gens, so I'm not going to do this. This is very boring. It's got to be said.
Everybody clap. I was outplayed. Nobody's on here. Yep. We're gonna get our Mori. We're all about the funsies. There she is. At least you've got a pair of balls on you, uh, Jill. You've not um, DC'd via hook. It's up the limp dick exit. Always gotta have the respect for that. Unless I speak too soon and you DC her, uh, but I wanna down you. If I said die fast, and that was hilarious. Wow. I saw the inside of your neck there, Jill. Um, but you know, we'll ignore it. We can't all produce uh, high quality products in this day and age, especially at the uh, industry standard. Um, it's going to be over there, I think, but I think we've got this one, quite honestly. <laughs> We're at five gens. Okay. Again, scratch marks. It is a similar mindset to how Evolve used to work, where as a hunter you don't follow the monster, you follow the tracks. Which is what I do when I'm playing this. I'll just follow the scratches. But if the scratches are lying to me, then, you know, I'm going to go the, the wrong way. For so the vast majority of the time when I am chasing survivors, I'm just looking at the floor. Killing himself. I thought I was scratches then, but it's the wires on the floor. It's not really going to matter at this. Okay, that was a save because he went to stage two. Do I go for the Shiva here? Because. This is him, innit? Somewhere. See, at the minute I'm just staring at the floor. Oh no, this is the Shiva. Okay. Forgot she was injured. There we go. Does she take the window? Yes, she does. There we go. Don't know what hook you're on, Moss. No, you're not on it. It's on numero two. You've just told me where you were. There he is, I've just seen him. Yeah. Hey mate. Want me more, lad. Is that it? I've had a lot of unfun games recently. God bless the camera angles. I mean, you know, you could just delete the grass or something from, you know, some sort of camera effect or something that deletes grass at least. Sure. Two Mori's though. I'm not going to complain about that one. Very decent one. See, this is what this game does though, because it's reeling me back in now. It's f fed me shit games after shit games and I've had to put up with it. And now it's giving me the good ones before it does it again. But, you know. Wanted to unhook and give you both Maury's. Oh, okay. 
It's like a GG. It's rather wholesome, it's got to be said. I don't know why they all wanted to be moored. I mean, it's counterintuitive, but you know. The wholesome side of the community is uh, witnessed here, apart from the Claudette, who is, you know, to be expected, level 62. The one that doesn't go outside much. Um, but yeah, quite a decent game. Hope you've enjoyed. We've got two Mories off. We've got two Mories on people without masks this time, so that's good. Um, yeah, solid game. See you on the next one.